Hi guys, I'm so glad to see you again. Well, see you again. I'm so glad you can see me again. I am very excited about our lesson tonight. I hope you all watched last week and I hope you got to meet Meteor and our monster truck friends. They're pretty cool, let me tell you. Tonight, we are gonna start with another episode from our monster truck friends. So before you watch this video, I want you to go to this link Go to rightnowmedia.com. We're going to watch Monster Truck Adventures, Episode 2, The Pennant Race. Okay? So as soon as you watch that, come back here and we'll talk about it, okay? All right, I really hope that you liked that episode. Now, before we start, we're going to open with a prayer, okay? So join me, read it on the screen out loud. Dear God, help me to hear you today, to hear your joy in the birds' songs to hear your heart in the chattery voices, to hear your voice in the quiet. Help me to hear you today. And now, if you want to join me, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer, just like we do on Sunday. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our key verse that we're going to talk about, that you learned about in the video with the monster trucks, it is Proverbs 3.30. It says, do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. When it says accuse, that means do not blame anyone for doing something that you think that they might have done. So when you were watching our video, Meteor, he had this brand new pennant that his dad has, had given him. Well, at the end of the episode, why did Meteor get so upset with his friends? Do you guys know why he was mad? Do you remember? Well, that pennant that his dad had given him, that flag, he thought one of his friends had stolen that flag that was given to him by his father. But he actually dropped it earlier in the race. Meteor didn't remember it coming off of his antenna. And so he got really, really mad when he couldn't figure out where it had gone. So immediately, instead of going and looking for it, he blamed his friends. He was like, you guys were just jealous that I had one and you didn't. So, of course, his friends got kind of upset because they, they knew that they didn't take it. They didn't think it was very fair that Meteor was accusing them of stealing something. Now, have you ever thought that someone did something that maybe they really didn't do? Like, maybe you lost your favorite pair of socks and you got really mad at your brother or sister because you thought they took them. Maybe the dryer actually ate them. Did you know the dryers do that? They eat socks sometimes. Or maybe they're actually probably under your bed still. That happens in my house all the time. I get mad because I can't find my favorite pair of orange pumpkin socks. And guess what? They're probably underneath of my bed or maybe even under the recliner because I took them off in the living room and forgot to take them to the laundry hamper. Well, we shouldn't blame other people for mistakes that we make, should we? It's not kind, and it hurts their feelings. And our memory verse says, do not accuse someone. You know, maybe they, maybe they really didn't do anything wrong. So let's turn it around. How would you feel if someone accused you and blamed you of something that you really didn't do? Well, I get really mad when that happens because I believe that I'm always right. No, I'm just kidding. That's wrong. I'm not. But I get upset when someone says, Alicia, you did this. And I'm like, oh, no, I did not. I promise I didn't do it. I know for sure that I, that I didn't do that. I didn't take your socks. I didn't take your slippers. That hurts my feelings. I get kind of sad. What about you guys? So we should think about Meteor and his friends. In the episode, all of his friends were very upset. They didn't even want to help him find it because he was so mad at them. What good does it do if our friends are that mad at us? We don't want that to happen, do we? Jesus tells us not to accuse people. How would they feel if they didn't do anything wrong? He doesn't want us to blame others. 
He wants us to find the truth. He wants us to understand maybe, maybe it was an accident. Maybe we really did it. And we're just trying to blame somebody else. But no, that's not right. Not right at all. Do not be quick to get upset at others like Meteor did. He hurt his friend's feelings. And we have to think about how our actions affect others. So when you are getting really, really mad that you lost your, your flag, your pennant at your race, you know what we should do? Don't blame that anger on other people. Don't get mad at God because he didn't bring out the sun today and instead we got some snow. Don't be mad at Jesus. I know it seems kind of silly to say a sentence like that. Don't get mad at Jesus. But if you pray and you don't immediately see the answer, just some people get mad. Some people say, oh, God, that's not fair. I'm mad at you because you didn't bring me that chocolate bunny that I wanted for Easter. That's silly. Don't do that. Don't, don't be angry because guess what? Maybe God is going to answer your prayer in a little bit of a different way than what you imagined. It's just like with Meteor. He ended up finding his pennant. You want to know why? He turned around, and he was driving back around on the track that they had just been on, and suddenly he remembered. It was my fault that the pennant got lost. It got stuck at the very beginning of the race, and Big Wheelie, the guy in charge, the leader, he found it, and he picked it up and put it up for safekeeping for Meteor because he knew he'd be sad if he lost it. Well, Meteor, he felt terrible because he should have believed his friends. He shouldn't have blamed anyone. He should have turned around and looked and had his friends help him look like they asked if he wanted them to do so he could find it. At the very end, he had to go and apologize to his friends because he had been so angry at them. Instead of throwing our anger out on all of our friends and others around us, you know what we should do? We should pray and think about what's happened, and talk to God, and just let God take it all away. Give away all of our anger to God. He can handle it, I promise. That's what he's there for. He wants us to talk to him in times that we're angry, or we're sad, or you know what? Maybe you just talk to God and say, God, I'm really frustrated because I lost my favorite orange pumpkin socks. I don't know where they're at. I'm not going to blame anybody. I'm not going to blame myself. I'm not going to be mad about it. Just help me calm down. And guess what? <laughs> Maybe two or three weeks down the road, when you finally move that recliner out of the spot, you're going to find your favorite orange pumpkin socks. All right, so if you guys want to join me, we're going to sing a super fun song that we probably have already learned in Vacation Bible School, but guess what? It's one of my favorites. All right, this is called Give It Away from Vacation Bible School. So I want you to get up, shake your arms out a little bit, get ready to dance. All right? I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me round and round. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain. I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away.
Oh, I love that song so much. All right. Guys, I'm so glad that we got to come together tonight. I hope that you enjoyed that video of Meteor and his friends. And I hope that you remember when you think someone has done something wrong, maybe they really haven't. Do not be quick to accuse someone. Maybe it wasn't their fault. Maybe it was an accident. Just like Meteor, he could have really, really lost some friends. But his friends are nice, and they knew that he had done it on accident, and he was just very angry. And they decided at the very end of the episode, we love our friend Meteor, and even though he got angry with us, we're still going to be his friend. Tonight, we're going to close in prayer, if you want to follow along on the screen with me, okay? Glorious God. Grant that what we sing with our lips, we may believe in our hearts. And what we believe in our hearts, we may practice in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. All right, guys, it's been so much fun getting together with you. I can't wait till I can see you in person again. But guess what? Until we can do that, I'm going to keep bringing up these fun videos for you, okay? I'll see you soon.